Hey, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys a video and show you guys a couple pairs of sneakers here and there that I saw while out shopping at the outlets and stop by Under Armour and then also Adidas in this video. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. You usually do the Nike thing, but sometimes uh, you guys asked for some Adidas stuff, so I wanted to show you guys that. But first, you can see that this is the Under Armour kind of section. I always kind of just pop my head into Under Armour just to see what they have inside there. Also to see if they have any Curry Ones. They've never had any that I've seen, but leave a comment maybe in the co uh, comment section and let me know if you have seen any Curry Ones at the outlets near you, if you have an Under Armour. Uh, but uh, but I've never seen any. I've never seen anything too crazy. Uh, but I did see, um, not these ones right here, but the next ones are some boots. These things look pretty cool actually for some military boots. And they were only, I think, 70 bucks uh, for the boots. But really good looking quality material on them. They were on sale for... Uh, for 70 I don't know what let's see what the retail 135 on retail which 135 actually is pretty cheap for that style of boot anyway so I don't know a decent price on those um, and that's pretty much it they didn't have too many other Under Armour things kind of some interesting looking soles on some of the shoes as you can see right here uh, and these ones are the speed forms as you can see it says it's the best runner debut from 2014 which is a while ago 60 bucks though not bad for a debut runner. Then I went over to the Adidas employee, or not employee store, the factory store. And the funny thing is, is there was always like two things that are never on sale. One is the Ultra Boost. It's always retail price. But then they had some other things. The Energy um, Bounce or whatever these ones are called. I've never actually tried the Bounce technology. Uh, maybe weigh in the comment section if you have, if it's decent or not. Uh, I'm, I really like the, the Boost. Obviously the Pure Boost is my favorite as well as the Ultra Boost, but the Bounce technology is interesting. Uh, these ones were buy one, get one for 50% off. Not that great of a sale uh, at the end of the day. I mean, you're getting them for like, I don't know, $100 and then a $50. So $150 divided by two is 75 bucks. Not a bad price, but not like an ultimate like steal. Uh, these ones were cool that they had these though, uh, but still, again, not that great of a price. I tweeted out some links to some Adidas um, D. Lillard ones that were like 60 bucks, uh, or maybe it was like $47 even. Um, a while ago for some colorways, but these ones are, I like that colorway a lot at least. And then they also had a couple other colorways as you can see right here. They also have these Portland Timber, uh, crazy, whatever the heck, the crazy eights or whatever. These ones are pretty cool actually as well for any Timber fans. Uh, the soccer team in, in Oregon is definitely a nice, uh, team and a kind of a cool look for a shoe, but just not one that was very popular. Anyways, at the price point, $70, uh, not so bad. And then buy one, get one free at 50% off. Also, the D Rose uh, 5 Boost, and they had a couple other ones. 160 retail, and they had 90 plus the one fifty percent off. They also had some J Walls. They're 80 bucks, uh, as you can see here. Retail is only 105, so not too much of a savings on those. Um, they had some rods on the back, and they had just a handful of stuff at the clearance wall. Nothing too fancy, uh, from what I saw. They had more women's shoes, I think, than they did guys, at least, and kind of like better looking stuff, at least. These ones look kind of cool. Interesting looking materials on those ones. And then they had the D, D Roses right here, as you can see, uh, with the boost. I actually haven't tried those uh, on. I mean, I, so far, I just don't really like the overall look of the Roses. Um, but I am curious about the, the Nike basketball with the boost. Anyway, some pattern on these um, SL loops, as you can see right here. Um, and those ones are $50. Plus, a buy one, get one free. They also had the, the black uh, tubulars, as you can see back here, $80. And some top tens, the low top version. Uh, which actually I don't even think I've seen those ones. I haven't really been paying attention. Not not a bad looking shoe though. Pretty clean colorway actually. Uh, and these ones are 50 bucks uh, plus the buy one get one free. Um, they had these SL Loop uh, CTs and kind of just another uh, off brand or an offshoot of the SL Loops. And interesting look. I kind of, I don't know, in pictures they look better in hand in, in my opinion. In hand they look kind of cheaply made. Uh, but that's just being me, me, my honest opinion. Um, they had some of these as well. Some snake skin um joints right here and i don't know they're, they're kind of interesting looking but the superstar snake 70 dollars, and then they also had regular superstars these are the only things in the store that are not discounted along with the ultra boost so the old classics and then the new classics i guess in a sense with the ultra boost both of those are not discounted at all in the outlet store which is kind of odd that they'd be taking up space in the outlet because they seem to always sit because nobody buys them since they're always excluded uh, maybe that's just my take i don't know but if I was trying to buy a retail shoe, I don't go to the outlet to buy it. Uh, anyway, that being said, there's a couple other shoes here. Uh, they had some energy boosts. I believe these ones are right here, the green colorway. Um, and this is the one that was before the Ultra Boost, obviously, for those didn't didn't know that. 
And uh, yeah, 70 bucks on those on the back wall. Uh, buy one, get one 50% off. And then they also have these Boston Boosts, uh, as you can see right here. Interesting colors. Both of these are ones I wouldn't really buy. And then they also have these uh, right here. This is another color of Energy Boost. Uh, probably the better of the three, in my opinion, at least. Also had some Sequence Boosts. I had a pair of those. Uh, I gave them to my brother. Actually, I still have them. They're in my garage. I gave I gave him a couple other different pairs. These um, patterns on these were crazy, though. Really like this look. And these ones were women's shoes, SL Loop Racers. And then we get in a couple more of the women's shoes right here. Women's shoes as well. Super sick looking. Uh, red Adidas logo with that kind of snakeskin look. Three stripes, white midsole. Really dope. Uh, Honey Lowe's, $35. I'm like, that was probably one of the coolest shoes I saw. And it's a chick shoe, in my opinion, at least. Uh, and you can see those and then they had some ZX fluxes with some kind of cool print um, Not a fan of the purple, but the kind of smoked out looks kind of cool And then they also had uh, some energy boost for the women as well uh, But you can't go wrong with some um, I don't even know what these are Selena Gomez. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had to take a picture of those because like Selena um, Interesting I actually don't see too many of the products from that because I don't pay attention. That's pretty much it though Hopefully you guys like this video if you did uh, show your support. If you guys want to shop online at adidas.com, uh, check out the links in the description. Peace, guys.